Hey guys, it's Mark. And in today's piece, we're going to talk about the comparison between being an individual agent versus a team member. And anybody getting into the business today is going to decide one of these two paths. And, and so let's discuss the difference between the two. Let's start with the individual agent. That's how I got into this business. And uh, first off, if that's you, I respect that completely. So let's talk about the advantages. Uh, the first off, of course, is the autonomy. Right. Many of us out there, we were an entrepreneur by spirit, or at least we're seeking to be. And we want to be able to do our own thing. And we want to be able to choose the business sources that we want to be involved in. Is it going to be property management? Is it going to be residential sales? Is it going to be new construction? Is it going to be commercial? Right. That Let that be up to us. Right. We want to be able to have the schedule flexibility to go on vacations when we want to take a day off or just screw around when we want to. Listen, I get it. Okay, because ultimately we want to be our own boss on this next point. Okay, we don't want somebody looking over our shoulder. Understood. Okay, the, the reward for all the work that we do as an individual agent, of course, is that we get to keep 100% of the net commissions after whatever brokerage split we've got worked out, right? Now, some of the challenges that come along with that for that great reward, of course, is that we've got to learn everything on our own, especially as a new agent. So our education is going to have to come from either a third party or our hopefully our brokerage. That'd be great, but we'd have to really seek that out. It's not going to be thrust upon us, right? So that that coaching and training piece really isn't going to be there unless it's we've signed up for it and then many times paid for it. Um, there isn't any accountability. Okay, in, in fact, the old saying is that is if we don't sell homes for long enough in real estate, they'll actually put us in management. Uh, we're, we're, of course, we're not going to get any leads. We're going to have to get those from some third-party source or, of course, our own individual prospecting. Um, there's probably not going to be any administrative support unless um, the front desk, and they'll probably just forward sign calls to us. Um, big point here, we're probably going to be competing in most cases against agents with significant track records that have been in the business for a long time and, and are able to really a b us against them um, on average we're going to run about a 50 percent expense ratio for so in other words for that eight thousand dollar commission check we're probably going to spend about four thousand of it just to get there and and lastly it, it can be rather isolating i remember many times as an individual agent feeling like i was on an island and if it weren't for some of the mastermind groups or accountability role play partners that I had scattered around the country, man, I would have felt like I was in this business all alone. So that's taking a look at the individual agent side. You can kind of see both sides of it. And, and then let's consider as a team member, right? So in other words, you'd be walking into uh, an existing business, hopefully with a you know, a team leader that's got some good long experience in the business, a good track record. And uh, some of the advantages there, of course, would be that coaching and training piece, right? There, there should be a system in place that as a, as a new hire would walk you through a training program step by step and get you ready to do business. Um, ideally, there's going to be an administrative support system there, an operations department that's going to be existing that would handle the transactions. The day to day, whether it be a listing or a new sale from contract to close, get that closed for us. Um, there, of course, there should be leads provided. Um, there should be enough leads provided for you to build a business as big as we want. Right. That's going to be key. Um, probably an understated piece is going to be the camaraderie of a team. We, we all have participated in some type of team venture and and, you know, and when spirits are down, many times we can go to our team members or our peers within the team and get some support that we need. Um, minimal expenses, right? The aside of maybe some board dues and some minor desk fees in some cases, as a team member, there really shouldn't be any expenses outbound. Okay, less maybe your car or a or a cell phone bill, and then lastly would be accountability. Right, knowing that you've got a, a coach, a trainer, a team leader, uh, perhaps the other team members that are really counting on you to to do pull your end of the of the load and to ultimately perform and provide income for yourselves and and for the team. Um, there are some disadvantages, of course, 
to being on a team, right? It kind of goes against one of the reasons perhaps why we would sign up as an individual would be that we're, hey, we're working under a team name, not our own. Okay, and if, and if it's important for us to have our name on the deal, then this might not be the right fit, okay? Um, there's probably gonna be, or at least there should be, some minimum sales standards. Okay, so if you're not comfortable or, or familiar with working under a quota, that could cause some additional pressure, understood. Um, there's gonna be a lower split, all right? The team obviously has to make an income to provide all the services that they are. So that's something to consider. And uh, must, we have to work the leads that are provided, right? So it's a, it's one of those things where we're not really choosing what to work. We're getting in there and we're, you know, we're having to work what's been put in front of us. Um, and then here's a disadvantage that's also an advantage is the accountability. And uh, as a professional coach for about a decade here, I, I found that most agents that are in a coaching program are screaming for the accountability. They want it, they thrive for it until they get it. And then that's when we really discover the agent that we're working with at that point. So you can see that both sides of this guys, they've got their advantages and disadvantages. And, and the thing that I, I would say uh, that most of our team members have looked at is what do I know about the business right now? Where am I going to get my leads from? Who's going to show me how to do it? Who's going to hold me accountable to make it happen? And if there aren't really solid answers to those questions, team might be the way to go. And although you're not getting 100% credit and although you're not getting 100% of the income, are you going to do more transactions to ultimately put more money in your pocket faster? Just something to consider. So any questions on this, of course, we're available. And thanks for the opportunity to help.